The us backed militia has surrounded remaining IS fighters in just a handful of positions, but thousands of civilians are still in the city, some of them being used as human shields by the jihadists. Late Tuesday, the us led coalition said officials from the Raqqa Civil Council, a provisional administration for the city set up by the SDF, were trying to negotiate the safe passage of civilians from remaining IS held areas. Those departing Raqqa who are found to have fought for days will be turned over to local authorities to face justice. The RCC declined comment on the discussions. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, a Britain-based monitor of the war, said the talks were focused on granting surrendering IS fighters and their families a way out of Raqqa. The negotiations are for the exit of days fighters and their families to Albu Kamal and eastern Deir Ezir province, said Observatory Director Rami Abdel Rahman. Albu Kamal is on the Syrian border with Iraq, and the town and adjacent areas in the east of Deir Ezir province remain under his control. Deals to allow his fighters to withdraw from territory have been negotiated in the past, including in May when an agreement allowed several dozen jihadists to flee the town of Tubqsa, west of Raqqa. His fighters and their families were also allowed to leave parts of the border region between Lebanon and Syria earlier this year, headed for Deir Ezir, in a controversial deal agreed by the Syrian government and its Lebanese ally Hezbollah that was fiercely opposed by the US led coalition. Lasting defeat, we have a responsibility to defeat days while preserving civilian life to the greatest extent possible, the coalition's director of operations, Brigadier General Jonathan Braga said in a statement on Tuesday. Make no mistake, a lot of hard fighting remains and we are committed to the lasting defeat of days. The coalition's strike releases also showed the number of its air raids on Raqqa dropping in the past two days from dozens a day to fewer than ten. The SDF has been advancing on remaining is held territory from two fronts in the city's north and east, and is expecting to enter the final week of the campaign when the two fronts meet up. Its loss would leave is with only a handful of remaining strongholds in Syria, mostly in Deir Ezir province. In Iraq, it has been ousted from nearly all of its territory, except for a stretch of the Euphrates Valley along the border with Syria.